I'm uh, leaving Ho Chi Minh City, or should I say Saigon as they call it, and I'm heading to uh, Boomtown. I'll leave details below. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, I've done four days in um, Saigon, and it's time to stop being a city rat. So yeah, uh, Boomtown, here we come. This is the ferry I'll be catching, the Gatau Kau Tok Bak Dang Bak Dang Speed Ferry Terminal. Uh, literally get a taxi to this terminal and uh, as you can see, look, the Ho Chi Minh River, really famous uh, Ho Chi Minh City itself, but time to leave Ho Chi Minh City and head for Boomtown. So I'm going to grab my ticket, literally get a taxi to this ferry port, um, get your ticket here and I think it's about an hour ride on the ferry. Grabbing my ticket here, it's going to cost me I don't know how much. I'm at Ho Chi Minh ferry terminal, just waiting for my ferry to take me to Boomtown. That's the ferry boat that I'll be taking. Well, after an hour and a half on the boat, I have arrived in Boomtown. Uh, don't know what to make of it yet. I find myself a hotel and uh, check in and go forth. Watch this space. So I decided to check into the Green Garden Hotel. So uh, this is my room, big double bed. Nice balcony, this is like 300,000 a night. I shall leave a link below for the exchange rate. So yeah, what a fantastic little room. Toilet, bathroom, shower. I think there's a shower. Oh yeah, shower up there. Air conditioning, fantastic. So there you have it, that's my room. 300,000 a night. Two beds, so I can spread out as much as I like. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. 
sunny Vutal. Yeah, I've uh, ended up in this little restaurant, grabbed myself a coffee. I uh, don't think I'll be having to anything to eat yet because I'm gonna grab a coffee. Uh, I might have a croissant or something. But yeah, nice little restaurant. Ferry boat that brings you to the island. Nice little restaurant. Welcome to Vutau. Right, well I've checked into this little restaurant. Don't know what it's called. It's on the front of uh, Vutau. And uh, I ordered some breakfast, which is pretty much, um, yeah, it looks like steak. Got some salad with it. Hold on, let me show you. steak and fried egg in it, some chips, um, have one of them, have a little taste of this and tell you what I think, with an egg chucked in there as well, I mean gravy, egg, I don't know, some potatoey looking things, could not be potatoes maybe, carrots, I don't know really haven't got a clue. Um, could even be sausage, I don't know. Let's try it. Mm. Sausage. Beef. So. Beef, egg and sausage, do you know what? Chuck a chip on there just for good measure as well because I can. It's mine, I'm paying for it. I'll eat it how I like. <laughs> so yeah, interesting. Tasteless, but um, yeah, one of the weirdest breakfasts I've ever had in my life. Um, but that's what makes it exciting, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, try a bit of a combination of sausage, egg, chip, and gravy and yeah I've got to say this is one of the most weird breakfasts I've ever had in my life but in the breakfast to be honest with you but it is what it is it's not your fried bacon egg sausages fried bread um hash browns and all the rest that goes with it but i'm gonna call it lunch because it's not really a breakfast is it very stable sausage chips and a bit of salad <laughs> Tao island for you hey life for living breakfast out of the way which was pretty much more like lunch it's definitely the most weirdest breakfast i've ever had in my life Pray steak with a egg salad chips coffee coca-cola and a packet of fags all come out to four pound fifty i'm not gonna complain at that um, yeah definitely the weirdest breakfast i've ever had in my life but anyway moving on tally on through 